All right, the nationwide police shortage forcing some Americans to take matters into their own hands. One neighborhood in New Orleans hiring its own private security to keep its streets safe. Joining us now are New Orleans residents Peter and Raylan Loop. Welcome to you both. Thanks for being with us. I want to start by just asking you, why is it that you need private security? What's going on that necessitated this? I think it's it, the fact that our police force is so far down numbers wise and you know we needed more security in the neighborhood um, that that we live in so we've been paying uh, we pay our security through uh, real estate taxes and they're around um, there's probably three or four cars in the uh, neighborhood at one time all you know 24 7. Is that a guard dog, too, that you brought in to help? That would probably be a good idea, because we see on our screen right now that you're down about 162 uh, police officers there in, in New Orleans. And we also have some stats that show, you know, total crime in New Orleans up 7.6% uh, year to date, Peter. Auto theft up almost 80%. Um, you know, you mentioned hiring this private security. Can you tell us a little bit more out of the taxes? Roughly, how much does this cost for your community? Because there's a huge cost that, that's being taken on here. And you know, speak a little bit about the fact that not all communities are able to afford hiring their own private community. What do you want to say to those communities? Well, um, I, I mean, I don't know what, what to say about them particularly. I think that we are just, uh, you know, a neighborhood that wanted to get, you know, more security. So we reached out. And if there are problems in other parts of the city, uh, perhaps they are the you know, they're the groups that end up getting the police, which is probably uh, better than, you know, what could just be considered civilians. Uh, Raylan, tell us about some of the encounters that these security officers have had with potential criminals, thieves and the like. Um, well, they're on call 24 seven mm -hmm. and I have them on speed dial in my favorites. And I ask everyone uh, to do the same. So you, if you see someone suspicious or anything, they will um, run them down and they don't arrest anyone, but they will either call dispatch or get the police to help them. They kind of facilitate, they're the, they're the, they're the middlemen. But I think their presence really keeps crime out of our neighborhood, the Garden District here in New Orleans. Yeah, it's a very familiar story. A police force stretched thin, sometimes because crime is up, sometimes because police officer numbers are down. But either way, people trying to find a way to make it work on their own. Peter and Raylan, thanks for being with us. We appreciate hearing your story. Sure. Sure thing.